In November of 2018, Shi Yao Wang, a 14 year old from China, set a world record in solving a Sudoku puzzle in 54.44 seconds. How impressive was that? Was it a hard puzzle? How did she do it? I'm going to answer that for you, and we're starting right now. Greetings, friend. Timberlake here. This is a fascinating uh, puzzle, and I want to break it down. I saw this video. It was posted online. I'll put a link to the original video below. Uh, for the 2018, the World Sudoku and Puzzle Championship was in Prague, Czech Republic. And in this, uh, again, world record was shown. Uh, her name is Shi Yao Wang. I'm going off the name that was pronounced in the video. If I got it wrong, I apologize uh, for the pronunciation. 54.44 seconds. So this puzzle has 27 givens. She filled in the other 54. So she averaged one solved cell per second. That is amazing. So I'm going to break this down for you because I think it's really neat and interesting to see how these world champion uh, solve puzzles so quickly. All right. And so with that, it's solving time. So the first thing you can see here, there's a five in row eight and row nine. The first thing she marked was a five right there. And then she quickly moved over here to block nine. And what's interesting is seeing this five, you have a seven in row nine. Then you're, you're going to have a seven pointing pair here and this seven in column seven. So the next thing she marked was this seven right there. And then quickly seeing this seven and this seven mark this seven. And so what I'm going to try to show is one, is it a cross hatching or is it just solving cells? And two, you know, what kind of cues did she have when she was solving? Because again, this is all happening like about one second per solve. And so the first cue was the, uh, the cross hatching grade. Second was, you know, this point there and here. And then third, like knowing that cell right there, she went over here. So this is all cross hatching. And that's the quickest way to solve puzzles uh, in solving single cells. And then quickly after doing that seven, she was able to kind of work through this block six. So you can see she knows three and three. So she solved the three pretty quickly. Then this eight. So somehow in her peripheral, she's seen there's an eight coming in here as well. So she solves the eight. And then it's just four, uh, three cells left. And so what's fascinating is I've shown this in my uh, uh, all Sudoku single cell solving video. But see, like you can solve these three cells if you can, if you notice uh, three things. You notice that there's a there's a six and a nine in column nine, and a six here. So that tells you, and what we're missing is a four, six, nine. It tells you that the four is here, the nine's here, and the six is there. And so after she solved this eight, she was able to look at that, and she pretty much solved those next three cells pretty quickly. Uh, nine, six, four, and I've seen this with the world championship solvers. They see all of this in an instant. And they don't necessarily solve any order that you know that we might see it, but they, they solve them as a as kind of like a triple, like a three in a row. And so from there, um, she changes her focus to go right across row five. And probably the thing that I think it cued is she sees there's a one right here, so those two spots can't be a one. So she solves that one, and then after solving the one, she sees there's a two right here. So the two can't be in this spot. It's got to be there in column six. So she can solve the five and the two. And so she quickly knocked those out and then focused here on block five. You notice there's eight across row four. So she can solve that eight pretty quickly. And then solving the eight, she's able to come right here and see there's two nines. So the, the peripheral is pretty amazing because she's just standing kind of from the, bar, the board and, you know, she has a marker set where I think she can kind of see what she's writing. I have a hard time when I'm doing pencil solves because, like, my hand blocks most of the puzzle. You know, she had a way where she was holding kind of her hand like underneath where the marker was. So I think she, she had a pretty good uh, peripheral view there. But she saw, you know, okay, two nines right there. So this is just a cross hatching for the nine. And then she finished off Actually, she moved on over here. And so you're probably wondering, how the heck did she get a two? Um, she saw this nine. She went over to this spot and noticed that 
uh, the two is here, and she needed a two three. So she probably saw after this night, she probably saw there's a two three right there. So she knew it had to be a two three there. She saw this two, so she marked a two and then she marked a three, right there. So this is pretty amazing to me to see how all this works out. And the next solve of this puzzle is probably the most impressive one because it's a naked single solve, and she has to draw from multiple houses within the puzzle to solve. So I show that once you get like four or more open cells in a house, you're trying to solve, it's much, much harder to find a naked single. But she finds one here. And it's right here in row three, column two. You can see you can't have a one, two, or three, or a four. You can't have a six, seven, eight, or a nine. So this is a five. And she quickly realizes that this is a five, that would be a nine. So she's able to solve right here, the nine, and then she solves the five, uh, kind of right in a row. That's impressive, because other than that, looking around, like I wouldn't have clued in on, on this being the next logical place to solve. But she kind of went over here to block four and then moved right up row two, was able to solve those two uh, pretty quickly. And then from there, she kind of went down and finished the rest of, of column two. So you're probably wondering, okay, a six, and a four, what she noticed is, I think she came down here, saw this four was right there. And so she knew the four was there and the six was there. Pretty impressive. Okay, and then from there, she switched and finished off uh, over here. And, and she went from here and she finished off row seven. So what she noticed is she put this four right there and was able to solve, you know, with three cells, uh, there's a one, three, and a six. And again, another pattern you're gonna see here, three and a six are right there. The six is here, and there's not neither one there, but you can solve all three of those cells. So with the three and six there, you know that that's gonna be a one, and then a three and a six. So she kinda of went here, went across, saw that three, six, and went one, three, six. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then from there, um, she moved down and saw, okay, from that I have a nine in row seven and nine. I can solve this nine. And that's just cross hatching nine. Uh, and then she kind of focused and finished on the rest of block seven. And so what you can see is, okay, I got an eight here. And so I'm missing a one and an eight. So she solved the one and then the eight. And so she finished off block seven. I find this fascinating how she kind of focuses and hones in on the blocks and knocks those out. Uh, and then she starts working her way up this chute. So she comes up here and notices, okay, uh, the nine, I can cross hatch and solve that nine pretty quick and the five. And she finishes off block four. And then up here, she sees there's only two spots left. She can see the seven. So she, like you can see her eyes is kind of going up. Okay, there's a seven. So I know I can solve that's for a seven and that's a three. And then immediately comes over here and says, oh, okay, I see the one coming in. So I can solve the one and the two. Uh, from this part, she solves the one and two and then she comes across row two and makes her next solve. And again, this is probably the second most impressive solve because you see there's only, there's four cells remaining here and there's three cells remaining here. And, and so from that, she's able to solve a, a naked single eight right there. So this brings us to our first pause the video moment. Pause the video and see if you can solve for one of these cells along row two. I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. Congratulations, you found it. You're an expert and you saw exactly what this world record setter saw. So you just want to enjoy the show. She looked over here and wrote to column nine and was able to solve for a five, right? Because you have a six and seven right there. You're missing a five, six, seven. So she's able to solve for a five. Again, it was about five seconds for her. Uh, but then after looking at that, I think she also took a glance down what was in this shoot because she starts working her way down column nine. And after the five, she looks right here. And again, I think she was scanning down uh, this chute because she kind of starts solving along column nine. 
So she she notices that this is also a naked single, and that's a two. And you have to be able to, to notice that there's the eight right there, along with you know these cells across row three and column nine, and then works her way back down to the bottom and sees okay, what's missing is um, three and then she's also missing a uh, a two and she saw the two is here she actually kind of went down here and saw what am i missing in these two spots and and i think she what well, she probably saw that there's a two and a two and like this was a two and so she went over and was able to solve that for a three because that's what she solved next saw that for a three saw that for a two and then kind of worked her way up here and said okay you know there's only one place left for a four so she solved that for a four and solved that for an eight. And then after solving that eight, she then came and must have noticed that there's a four, six remaining here and there's a four because she went and solved that six. And then she solved, uh, after that six, she went and solved the one because she saw also that there's two ones here. So I'm always amazed, you know, this is just, you know, pretty simple, uh, naked single one cell remaining but she had to have seen these others to do this six and then this one and she kind of works her way through the rest of block eight uh doing the seven the three and you're probably wondering how'd you get the seven there well she must have saw the three and went okay a seven and a three and a four and there's a lot of times when you watch these world record solvers like they see these two as one thing and they boom boom and then right here with that four so she kind of went here all the way around and she starts working her way up so you see now there's a seven here, so there's only one place left for a seven. So this is just back to cross hatching and finishes off block five. And then she continues to work her way up. And see now there's only two blocks remaining. So I find that you know she can limit her focus to just this part of the grid. Like she doesn't even have to look at these cells to finish this salt. And so after doing that uh, finishing up here, she kind of moves up and notices, okay, you know, there's two spots left. Uh, the two can only go in row one and then i can do the four and then after the four uh she notices okay five the only place left for five so she solves that five and then actually instead of like solving right here for this full house she moved across and saw that there's you know two spots left right a four and a nine so she solved those and then kind of came down here and said oh you know what's missing and i think you know just it's automatic like she can look at this block and go boom that's just missing a one and she can probably look at this row and see okay that's missing an eight and then she finishes up in block two with the seven and the six and that took all of 54.44 seconds so now the question you're looking at is how hard was this puzzle so other than the spots i pointed out where she needed to see you know, a naked single with like four missing cells or three missing cells. Everything was solved with naked and hidden singles. This puzzle, if you put it through a solver, is rated easy. All it requires is the basic techniques of hidden and naked singles. You don't need any pairs. Um, she used kind of the pointing pair down here at the very beginning, but it's not necessary. So it was a very easy puzzle. Um, and when to solve a war record, the puzzle can be easy. Uh, 27 givens, that's pretty normal. So it wasn't like it was stacked with a whole bunch of givens. What I think is really impressive is that uh, the quickness with writing the digits, because the way she was writing, it was like almost constant movement, right? And there's a lot of the other people in the video and they're solving, they're kind of standing back, looking and then going and solving, standing back and looking and they're wasting time. It takes them like 20, 30 sec seconds past her to, to solve it. I also thought it was impressive how you switch between cross-hatching and solving the uh, naked singles. Like in my brain, I can do cross-hatching really well, but to switch over, you know, there's a cost in that switching, and, and she's got that down. But you, what you saw is most of the solves were just two to three cells together. Uh, also fascinated with the way she moved around and kind of worked through different blocks on her way up to solve that puzzle. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to more hobbies. You don't miss any new content. Come back every day in February and you'll get a new video from me. But in the meantime, please check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you all so much for watching.